Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is July 7th and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop and you can kind of see some tropical development trying to occur down here off the coast of Mexico. And what all eyes are on really though are what's going to happen in the upper levels of the atmosphere. How much is this ridge going to build up over the state of California? How warm are things going to get? Are we going to still have thunderstorms around? When will the monsoon return? We'll take a look at that here in some detail in a moment. Check out this day and it's uh, weather of Southern California, July 7, 2001. Look at these intense thunderstorms can occur at this time of the year. You can see there were some flooding issues out there and some high water rescues. And check this out, this large surf down here uh, in 2014 actually drowned a lifeguard there during a rescue attempt. So you know it must have been crazy out there if it got a lifeguard. Pretty interesting stuff there on a daily basis from National Weather Service San Diego. Here's the weekend forecast. Las Vegas version. You can see Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Nice and warm out there. A breezy southwest winds. There is still some fire danger there across some of the desert areas on into Vegas and in for some portions of Arizona as well. And this is a nice graphic here from the National Weather Service Phoenix. Sunrise is at 5.25 a.m. So if you want to beat the heat, get out there. I mean, it's already mid and upper 80s here, but, you know, it's, at least it's not 107 or 110 degrees. So maybe a nice time to get out there and enjoy Mother Nature. This is looking at the GFS last night. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet. There's Hawaii here. Here's California here. And we're watching this big, big ridge here. How much is this going to build in here? It's kind of been this cat and mouse game going on with some troughing across some of the Pacific Northwest here and just how much of this is going to build across the region. So we start going out about 100 hours here and you can kind of see it developing there across Arizona and New Mexico pushing into California here. This trough... It's kind of keeping things a little bit suppressed on this ridge here on recent runs. Yesterday it was a little bit more substantial here across the West Coast. And you can see that tropical development on the southern periphery of this high pressure system there. But you can see it does build in pretty good for a time here as we go on in through next weekend. And then we kind of suppress it a bit again here at this trough trying to move through. But we're looking way out into the future here. And for the most part, some of the Four Corners area down through Colorado, New Mexico would really warm up underneath this scenario. But California would kind of be going through a period of some, you know, above average temperatures and then maybe some below average. Just depends on how this goes on and through the extended. We'll watch this closely. As you can see, we don't have great model agreement here. It looked a lot more substantial here yesterday or not a lot more, but a little bit more. And we'll take a look at those temperatures here in a moment. This is looking at the European yesterday afternoon's run here. This is the ensemble control, which is basically the deterministic now. And you can see this ridge start to build here as we go through this week. And troughing here across the Pacific Northwest. But you can still see through next weekend, we do develop a pretty good ridge here. And we're going to warm things up across much of the region here. And then now from the extended, the Europeans showing a little bit of troughing activity coming across the Pacific Northwest. More than a little, actually. And then in, uh, encroaching onto the state of California as well. It would keep things a little bit cooler than normal in this scenario, at least for portions of California. Now, this is looking at total precipitation here. And this is yesterday after uh, yesterday night's European uh, run, last night's. And as we go all the way through 100, hour 144, not much. Maybe a straight thunderstorm today across North California and Nevada, but not much across the region. This would be out through Wednesday night here. More on that here in a moment. We'll look at the extended. But this is day one thunderstorm potential here. And then you notice by day two and day three, this is going to be kicking out of the area, maybe extreme northeast Nevada. Nevada here on uh, uh, the day tomorrow. This is looking at Sacramento. You notice these temperatures aren't quite as hot as what we were showing yesterday. And that's that cat and mouse game between that trough and that ridge and just how much it's going to build in here across the southwest USA and how much over California. This is GFS still showing some pretty warm temperatures coming here, but we'll watch this closely. It's going to make a big difference in just how much we warm up through the end of this week towards the weekend. This is Los Angeles getting back up towards normal here. Maybe some a lower 80s showing up through the extended forecast. This is the GFS. So this is last night's run. This goes out 16 days. So I'm just going to scroll through this really fast because there's not much to talk about really. We're trying to see if that monsoon is showing up a little bit early in some of these model runs here. But unfortunately, it's not. And you get past two, 300 hours there and you start to see some precip move into Arizona here and maybe across some of the deserts just a little tiny bit, but not much of a signal there yet. It 
continues to be well out into the future. This is 6 to 10 day precipitation probability here. And you can see the bullseye across Nevada and Utah. <clears throat> it does include portions of California and Arizona as well as we suppress any moisture coming out of the south through mid-July. This goes through July 20th in here again with a below average signal here for much of the west. This is the 6 to 10 day temperature probability outlook. And I've, I've outlined the average temperatures here as well for Los Angeles, Sacramento, Las Vegas, and Phoenix here. And so we're in these probabilities that you're probably going to be exceeding these temperatures here through the 6 to 10 day period here. And even more so across Vegas and Phoenix coming up. So it looks like a better chance, as you saw, of the ridge developing here across the southwest. How much will that make its way up into California? We'll watch that over the next few days. This is the 8 to 14 days, something similar there as well. This goes through July 20th. Here we go. The entire state snow water equivalent. We're at 1.7 now. So we are melting that off. We're still about the 85th percentile or so. We're getting close, but this time of year, the median is usually melted off for most part across the entire state. And if you look way off into August there, you can see actually where there was one year where we put a little bit more snowfall here on in through the end of August here. So it's getting that time of year. Some of the upper areas of the Sierra, as you get towards the next few months, we could start to even add a little bit of snowfall. But that's well, well off into late August and on in through the September months. And it's pretty rare in of itself. This is looking at significant wildland fire potential outlook. You can see the Pacific Northwest above average, but look at California here. We've got the green below normal, and that's because of that snowpack across the Sierra and all that water we're dealing with up there. Northern California would be included there as well. There are some portions above normal, though, across some of Nevada, Utah, Arizona here as well, and even across the Hawaii. Hawaiian Islands, actually, all above average as well. But as you go through August, you can see the Sierra Nevada there a little bit protected from the snowpack. Pack. Hopefully that translate into less, less wildfire activity than normal. And here we go into September. Look at that. That would be much welcome here for the state of California for sure. But hopefully the Pacific Northwest doesn't start a bunch of fires there as well. As you can see, above normal conditions all the way through September. But anyway, yeah, so we'll watch this closely. You know, the models are having some uh, disagreement here on just how much this ridge is going to build and how long it's going to hold on there. So we'll just watch that a little bit uh, uh, tomorrow here. We'll, you know, we'll dive into that a little bit more and see if we get a little bit more agreement here as we go. We backed off in the temperatures a little bit, which is a good thing for most of the area here, but still above average here through mid-July for much of the region and suppressing precipitation as well through mid-July also. So we'll take a look at that on a daily basis as well and we'll see what else comes. So yeah, keep leaving those comments below. Um, click like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.